in March 2021, the High Court sentenced David Chandi Jamwa to 12 years in prison. Jamwa was found guilty of causing a loss of 3.1 billion shillings to the NSSF after he sold treasury bonds worth 64 billion shillings to Crane Bank that had 31 days to their maturity price. This happened in 2007. The sale and purchase of the controversial bonds was done in 24 hours. Justice John Bosco Katuzzi said Jamwa, a financial genius, used his knowledge and expertise to commit the offense. Before his sentence, Jamwa, who joined NSSF in 2007, had spent six years on bail. Today, Jamwa walked out of Luzira prison, where he has been serving his sentence, which commenced in January 2018. His mother, Tezira Jamwa, the son, and other relatives were waiting for him as he walked away from the towering walls of Luzira prisons to freedom. Uh, to the president, General York Aguta Seven, Tibahurwa, for his magnanimity, his benevolence, his kindness, sympathy, and mercy. And I'm um, head over heels, uh, ecstatic is the right word. And uh, we'll continue thanking him and thanking his establishment. Uh, I lost so many relatives. I've got to mourn those, including a daughter. Um, I've got to catch up with family, kids, friends, um, and tons of them were behind my release. Jama, who was a consultant in accountancy, talked about receiving the news of his release. Um, it was surreal, truly surreal. It came obviously as a surprise, uh, but good news always soothes you. And so once we found out uh, that the prerogative had been exercised, uh, we could only be grateful. And what about his experience in prison? Uh, it's difficult. But it's also character building, so there are two sides to that coin. Um, it's an experience that um, changes you and changes you for the better. Tezira Jama is thankful that her son is out of the confinement. I'm just delighted that finally God Almighty has answered our prayers, we as the family and friends. And I also want to thank His Excellency the President for having that fatherless spirit, for having signed that prerogative of mercy to have David Chandijama released. He puts a lot of emphasis on family and teaches us a lot of values that are important. So it has been extremely difficult going without him, but even when he was there, he has still endeavored to be in our lives and present and keeps giving his guiding hand over us. Sudilbi Yarhanga, NTV.